Today I'm going to show you how to create this professional flyer design using Adobe Illustrator, so let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator with a standard artboard that I'll be working on. Before starting with the design, let me show you my color scheme which I'll be using in this flyer, so you can simply copy the hex codes if you want. So the first thing we can do is we can simply add a background image into Illustrator. Download and paste any corporate image in your design, and scale it down properly so that the full image is visible. Now select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle on top of your image. Now change its color to this green shade from the color scheme. Now make sure to select this rectangle, then go to the Windows menu and open Transparency panel. Now change the blend mode of this rectangle from normal to overlay. Slightly adjust the opacity of this rectangle if the color tone is too dark. Now select both the image and the rectangle then right-click and group them together. So the image part is complete, and I'm going to place this layer outside the canvas for a moment. Now it's time to create a compound path for our image clipping mask. So once more with the rectangle tool selected, hold down the Shift key and create a large square like this. Now go to the Object menu, and from the Path drop-down, select the option which says Split into Grid. Click on Preview to see the effect, then increase the number of rows, and number of columns to your preference. And then simply hit OK. So now, the square has been converted into separate small squares. Now select all these small squares, and rotate them to an angle around 45 degrees. Scale them up a little bit if the squares are too small. Now adjust their placement at the top side because we will use some of these squares for clipping mask. Before moving forward, I'll temporarily change the color of these squares, but you don't have to do it because this color won't be visible. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of these squares from my artboard. It's just a matter of creating a pattern for your flyer design. So any squares from the grid that you don't need, just select them and delete. This helps keep your design tidy and focused on the important elements. So once you have removed the unnecessary squares, create a nice pattern and select all the squares you want to use for the clipping mask. Then right-click on selected squares and make compound path. So now this pattern of squares can be used as a clipping mask for our image. Now select all the remaining squares from the grid and assign the primary color for background purpose. Now go to the window menu and open the Pathfinder panel. Click on this symbol which says Unite. And now these remaining squares have been converted into a single shape which can be used as a background in the top left corner. Now move your background image onto the canvas. Select both the background image and the compound path you created earlier, then right-click and make clipping mask. And that's it, you now have a grid-based design with a clipping mask that adds a dynamic touch to your flyer. Now you might notice that the small squares are not visible in the image. So what you can do is you can select this clipping mask, then open the layers panel and expand the clip group. Select the compound path from the group, then press X on your keyboard to select stroke. Now open the color picker, and apply a white stroke color to this compound path. Increase the stroke value to 2, and now you can see that all the small squares have become visible because of that stroke color. You can also select the image from this clip group and adjust the size to your preference if needed. So the clipping mask and the pattern design is finally complete. The next thing we can do is we can add a headline for our flyer design. Zoom in at the top left corner, and with the type tool selected, write a brief headline. Use a decent typeface and also increase the size quite a bit to make it prominent. Change its color to the bright yellow shade from the color scheme. Slightly increase the font weight of this text and adjust its position. Now create a copy of this text and write the remaining headline. Now decrease its font size quite a bit and also change the font weight to regular. Place this text right below the first word and adjust the font size of the overall heading. So once the headline is created, Select it and adjust its placement at the top left corner like this. Now zoom in and select the line tool from the toolbar. Hold down the shift key and create a vertical line right below the heading. Press X on your keyboard and then open the color picker. Apply the same yellow shade from the color scheme and hit OK. Slightly increase the stroke value to make the line visible. Now zoom in further and create a copy of this text. Edit this text and write some secondary information right next to this vertical line. Ensure to apply a nice gray color to this text because it's a secondary information. Now zoom out to see if things are in line. Select the main headline 
and slightly move it closer to the vertical line if needed. Select the secondary text and the vertical line and adjust their alignment with the main headline. Slightly adjust the placement of this text and you're good to go. Now create a copy from the headline text and change its color to this dark tone. Now zoom in and write a heading for the bottom section. Start with the adjustment of this text. Align this heading to the center of the artboard and slightly increase the font weight. Adjust the placement of this text and then start adding the remaining information for your flyer design. If you feel that the space at the bottom is too much, you can select the clipping mask and the top background color and slightly move them towards the bottom. However, it depends on the type of information you are going to add. So adjust the placement of all the design elements to your preference. Now create a copy of this heading and start adding the information. Keep creating copies until the secondary information section of your flyer is complete. Also add some brief paragraph text below the secondary heading. So once this section is complete, create a copy for the right side and edit the information. Change the heading to your preference and zoom out to see the result. Select both these sections and adjust their alignment to the center. Now to give your design a more elegant look, select the headings and change their appearance to italic. Now select the paragraph text and change it to italic as well. And finally do the same with these numbers. If you feel that the paragraph text is too dark, you can open the color picker and apply a slightly gray color. So the text part is almost complete. Create a copy of this text and place it at the very bottom. Change the paragraph alignment to center, then edit this heading and write a helpful link. Zoom out and align this text to the center. Decrease its font weight to regular, and also decrease the font size quite a bit. Now open the Characters panel and choose a suitable value for tracking, giving your text an elegant look at the bottom. Now zoom out and you can see that the design is finally complete. Select the Rectangle tool from the toolbar and create a rectangle equal to the artboard. Now select everything on the canvas, then right-click and make Clipping Mask. So here is the final design, and this is how you can create a professional flyer design in Adobe Illustrator. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more similar content, and I'll see you in the next one.